Hey everybody, this is Andre with Garage Door Guidance. Just had another quick video for you today. It's on the Genie Power Lift 900. I do have it upside down because I do have it on a table. It's not connected to the ceiling. I did remove it, so I thought it'd be a good time to do this. Um, obviously, normally you're gonna be working with it on the ceiling, you know, attached. So it'd be vice, you know, it'd be the opposite way. But should be an easy video. Should be easy enough to do even when it's up top. So what we're going to be doing today is uh, we're going to be changing. So let me go ahead and pull this forward. I'll show you what we'll be changing. So on these power lifts, the Genie power lift, the screw drives, any screw drive that you purchase from my Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever, they usually come pieced together, meaning that the rail itself is, uh, it, it comes in pieces obviously so they can fit it in the box. And so you have, you know, sections that you'll have to connect. Now thing with the screwdriver is that it also comes in pieces and it also has to connect. So this is just one of those connections here, this connection point. So what happens is you've got a little coupler right here and then just a clip right next to it, keeping it in place. So let me see if I can spin that around. So you see those two pieces. So those are going to be what we'll be replacing today. A um, little genie coupler, genie screw coupler we will be replacing those two little pieces so very easy I mean you start with this clip because that what that clip does is keeps the coupler in place to change that part like I say we all we need to do pop this clip off here let me see if I get that better, better angle there so this this clip right here needs to come off first and I, what I would do is I just grab the flathead, and use my finger, or you could use another flathead and just kind of push it off. So there's our first part, just a little clip that keeps the coupler in place. So I'm just going to set that down below. Well, now that we removed that, you can see this piece here slides back and forth. So we need to remove this guy as well. Basically from here, you can see we've got that little coupler right here. And you see where they connect. So what you do is you just kind of push that push those apart. Once, the, once those are apart, you can actually grab that screw and just pull it forward, separating the two pieces. So now what you can do, you just slide this off. So there's your little coupler there. See, this is the full piece. So once that's slid off, you just go about putting the new pieces on, just back right in that same exact spot. So to put it back together, all you do is you put that coupler, the new coupler obviously, onto that longer end. So you just slide that screw back into place. Just kind of push it, push it together so they connect normally. So once you push those two screws back together, you should be able to just slide that little coupler back on. Just like that. So you slide, slide the coupler back on. And from there, you just put your clip right next to it just so it keeps it in place, keeps it from sliding out, because otherwise it'll slide out and the screw will just pop loose when you activate it. So slide that over so that it covers the connection. Pop that in, just like that, you are good to go. So that's pretty much it as far as replacing that part goes. Uh, it's just a little connector piece. So once you've done that, you are all set. That part should be repaired. I will link these parts down into the description there if you want to go ahead and purchase those uh, off of Amazon if you need to get that repaired or off of Genie or wherever I, wherever I can find that link. Um, and so that's pretty much it for the video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment box if you have any questions for me. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See you next time.